Hello students, a very good evening to all of you. Welcome to Online Tayari. This is our session on daily current affairs. Okay, let us begin our class. The first question we have. Recently in the news, Pastex is a naval exercise between India and which of the following countries? So you have four options. The right option is option B, Australia. Okay. So India and Australia, they started a two-day naval exercise, Pasex, in the eastern Indian Ocean region from September 23rd. Okay, that's yesterday. And it involved complex helicopter operations, naval maneuvers and aircraft drills. Also, the Sleeth Frigate, frigate INS uh, Sahyadri Air Warfare Destroyer, HMAS Hobart and Missile Convertee INS Karmuk engaged in the maritime exercises. Okay, so what is the significance of this? It is mainly to improve understanding, interoperability, learning best practices and to strengthen defense relation between the countries. So what is it with respect to other countries? India conducts similar naval exercises with Russia, Japan and the US. Clear students? Let me move to the next one. With regards to the Arab League, consider the following statement. So we have three statements here. Concentrate. The first statement is, it is a regional organization of the Arab countries in and around North Africa, the Horn of Africa and Arabia. So concentrate on the extremity words I'm underlining. Okay, students. The second statement, it was formed in uh, Cairo in 1950 with six members at present. The league has 15 members. Clear? The third statement. Iraq has formally stepped down. So it is Iraq has formally stepped down from a key role in the Arab League. So which of the following statements are correct? So we have four options. So the right option is actually only the first statement is right. That is option D. I'll explain the statements. First, I'll explain um, the incorrect one. C. The second statement is incorrect because it was formed in Cairo in 1945, not in 1950. It was in 45 and at present the league has 22 members, not 15. Okay. The, th the third statement is Iraq has formally stepped down uh, from the key role, but that is incorrect because Palestine has formally stepped down from a key role in the Arab League. So what is the issue? The UAE and Bahrain signed detail, uh, sorry, deals in Washington on September 15th, which drew criticism from the Palestine. It has also been seen as a serious blow to their efforts to end the illegal Israeli occupation and achieve an independent state. Clear? Moving to the next one. Recently in the news, which country has tested a laser-guided anti-tank missile? So it is option A, India. So the DRU, the research, Defense Research or Development Organization of India, they have test fired an indigenously developed laser guided anti-tank missile, guided that is ATGM. It was fired uh, from the main battle tank Arjun from Ahmednagar, Maharashtra. So what is the significance? It will enhance the firepower capability of the Indian Army, which is highly required in the current border tensions across the LAOC and the LAC. So what are these anti-guided missiles? They are the mainly uh, thing which are designed to destroy the armed military vehicles like um, the Amoga missile, Lag missile and the standoff anti-tank uh, missile are some of the examples of these ATGMs in India. Clear students? Next one, UWA a multi-stakeholder platform to make young people career ready has been launched in the collaboration which of the following i think you all know it is option c unicef so it has been launched by the ministry of youth affairs and sports and the united nations children fund um, by signing a statement of intent to establish generation unlimited in india that is uva okay so what is the significance of this? It provides career guidance and entrepreneurship classes to young people and it also contributes towards uh, Atmanirbar Bharat Abhiyan. So United Nations Children's Fund is something that it was founded in 1946 and it's a special program of the United Nations devoted to aiding national efforts to improve the health, education, nutrition and the general welfare of the children. Clear students? Going to the next one. So according to a recent study, 
targeting which plant hormone would help rice plants to have greater tolerance to potassium deficiency and improve the productivity so we have four options it is option b jasmonate so a recent study at the national institute of plant genome research new delhi suggested that the targeting hormone jasmonate would help rice plants have greater tolerance to potassium deficiency in turn improving the rice productivity okay i'll just give you a few details about it so jasmonate is officially or it's often associated with plants defense against biotic factors like pests insects and pathogens so the over expression of a gene called osjaz9 help the rice make plants more endured of potassium deficiency so what is this potassium deficiency it affects plants by inhibiting the growth of the roots and the shoots so this is about the potassium deficiency clear moving to the sixth one which of the following is not proposed by the major port authorities bill 2020 it is option d new boats will not replace the existing port trust okay so every port will have a port authority which will be under the leadership of the port authorities board which is a central board the existing port trust will be replaced by these boards so what will the board comprise of that will be a question right so the answer to that is there will be there will be a chairperson members from the respective state governments representatives from the defense ministry railway ministry and customs department the chairman of the board is to be appointed by the central government okay so it will also provide autonomy to major ports like visakhapatnam mumbai kolkata kanla jawaharlal nehru port chennai etc are under this bill clear moving to the seventh one recently net neutrality is a term used to refer which of the following so you have four options the right option is option c equal charge of the internet for consumers it means that the government and internet service providers treat all data on the internet equally and does not differentiately or uh, charge consumers for giving preferential term uh, treatment on certain websites Network neutrality requires all ISP to provide the same level of data access and speed to all traffic. Traffic to one website or service cannot be blocked or degraded. So why is it in the news? Because the TRI that is Telecom and uh, Regulatory Authority of India recently suggested setting up a multi-stakeholder body to ensure that the ISPs in the country follow the principles of net neutrality. Clear? Moving to the eighth one. who has been appointed as the united nations environment program that is unep regional ambassador it is option a kushi chindayal ye okay so kushi chindal uh, chindalia a 17 year old girl has been appointed as the regional ambassador for india by unep the tanza e eco generation okay so the details are she will raise awareness about climate change and the importance of environment conservation and the need to safeguard environmental treasures she will work with the tanza eco generations on um, various environmental awareness programs till february 2021 okay got it so i'll just give you a few lines about unep as well because um, that is also important when we covering these type of questions So it coordinates with the UN's uh, environmental activities and it assists developing countries in implementing environmentally sound policies and practices. It was founded in 1972 and headquartered in Nairobi, Kenya. Clear? Going to the next one. Recently in the news, what type of government body the EPCA is? So what is this EPCA? environmental environment pollution that is prevention and control authority so which type of a body it is it is option b it is the statutory body okay the environment pollution prevention and control authority is a supreme court mandated body that is constituted under section 3 of the environment protection act 1986 for the national capital region okay 
So why is it in the news? The EPCA it recently wrote to the chief secretaries of Haryana and Punjab raising concerns about the early burning of crop residue. So how does this work? The EPCA it has power to take action sur moto or on the basis of complaint raised, monitors and coordinates action for traffic planning and management, and it takes all necessary steps for controlling vehicular pollution. Clear? Let's move to the next one. Recently in the news, a large number of whales were found stranded in which of the following states of Australia? It is option C, Tasmania. So, Tasmania's Department of Primary Industries, Parks, Water and Environment discovered that around 380 whales stranded off the stand, sandbar of Tasmania, an island state of Australia, that's located 240 kilometers to the south of the Australian mainland. I'll just give you details. So, at least 25 of the animals believed to be pilot whale species of the oceanic uh, dolphin that grows 7 meters long. And it can weigh up to three tons. The two specifics are short finned pilot whale and long finned pilot whale. Okay, clear students? So these are the 10 questions for today. Tomorrow, I'll be coming up with another 10 MCQs for you. So until then, keep studying. Stay tuned to Online Tayari. Thank you.